In this video, we'll look at writing hypotheses using text editors. One of your assignments in the applications is to state hypotheses using the correct symbols. In order to do this, you'll need to use the math symbol editor. I'd like to get started by selecting something that looks similar to what we want to do. The first thing you want to do is start by writing the H's. And these basically have a subscript, so we'll put this little subscript thing. And you see that you can just put an H there, and that underscore lets you do a subscript, and then we want a uh, zero. And you can check on it by going out and go in. So that's going to be our H0. Now we want to put in um, a symbol for the population mean or population proportion. For proportion, it's just P, so that's pretty easy. For the mean, you want the Greek letter mu. So put in MU, and it should recognize that as the Greek letter mu. Uh, then you want to put in an equals or not equals or less than or greater than. Um, let's do a, a two tailed test here. We'll just say equals. And, and then you put in some number. So there's a number for this problem. I'm not going to say what it is, but let's just put in some number you'd figure out. Okay. So that's an example of the uh, null hypothesis. And you can copy that and paste it. And we can just go in and change what we want. Let's change that 0 to a 1. And then change this to a not equal to. A not equal to, I think, is found in here. It's exclamation mark and then the equals. So do that. So the symbol mu would be the same in both or it could be p. If it's p then it's the same symbol in both. Um, and the number on the right is always the same. Uh, those inequality symbols can vary. Um, and then the 0 and the 1, those should always be the same there. So that's an example of writing the hypothesis statements there. and uses a little bit of this math type. And if you want to make your formulas look nicer, you can um, do this for a lot of other things, putting in uh, alpha whenever the level of significance is called for, and some of these other symbols. Uh, but it is required here. And some of you might be doing some of this in Microsoft Word, and uh, the newer versions of Word have a formula editor. Go to insert and then equation, and then you can create the subscript notation here, h zero and then you have your Greek letters in here so you can pick them you if you need I'm gonna do P just for change of pace and then let's do a, a right tailed test so point three so there's a good null hypothesis and the corresponding alternative hypothesis would have a one it would still have a P the inequality symbol would have to point the other way, and the number would be the same. So, here we've shown how to calculate the, or sorry, type in the hypothesis statements.